to today's class. In today's class, we will learn English with me, Miss Fina. Today, we will learn about capability and willingness. Let's take a look at these sentences. We can do it. We will do it. These are the real examples of stating capability and willingness. Okay, there are two learning goals that we want to achieve from today's lesson. All of you are expected to understand what is capability and willingness, and then all of you are expected to know how to state capability and willingness. Okay, what is capability? Capability is something we can do. We need model to express someone's capability. The models that being used for expressing capability are can, we use can in present time, and we use could, we use could in past time, or to make the sentence sounds more polite. Okay, now let's take a look at the examples and illustrations above. The first examples. Nata can swim very well. Nata bisa berenang dengan baik. The second example, she can ride a horse. Dia bisa menaiki kuda atau menunggangi kuda. And then for the third example, he can read fluently. Dia dapat membaca dengan lancar. Okay, is it understood? Let's take a look at the pattern. If we want to stating someone's capability or ability, we can use a the positive pattern. The first one, subject plus can plus verb one. The second one, subject plus kid plus verb one. The third one is subject plus is or am or are plus able to, plus verb one, and so on. And the last pattern is subject plus was or were, plus able to, plus verb one. Okay, the examples of each pattern. The first pattern, Alice can make a mask. Alice dapat membuat sebuah masker. The second example, I could fry fish. Saya bisa menggoreng ikan. And then the third example. She is able to play guitar. Dia bisa bermain gitar. And then the last example is. They were able to run fast. Mereka bisa berlari cepat. Okay, let's take a look at the other side or the other Pattern, negative or inability. Okay, the first pattern, subject plus can plus not plus verb one. The second pattern, subject plus could plus not plus verb one. The third pattern, subject plus is or am or are plus not plus able to plus verb one. And then the last pattern is subject plus was or were plus not plus able to plus verb one. Okay, let's read together the examples of inability sentence. For the first pattern, Alice cannot make a mask. The second, I couldn't fry fish. The third, she is not able to play guitar. And the last one is they were not able to run fast. Let's jump in into how to asking someone's capability. We use the pattern can or could plus subject plus verb one plus blah 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 blah. And don't forget to give the question marks. Okay. For example, can you spell your name? Yes, I can. My name is Fina, F-I-N-A, something like that. Okay, let's jump in into the next part. 
What is willingness? Willingness is about something that you willingly to do. We need model to express the expression. Okay, the models that we use are will in present time and with for past time or to make a sentence sounds more polite. When we use will, first we can use will to make promise. For example, I promise I will love you forever. In Indonesian, we know it as Saya berjanji saya akan mencintai kamu selamanya. Asik. And then the second time we use will when we talk about voluntary actions in the future. For example, I will make breakfast tomorrow. In Indonesian, we know it as uh, saya, saya akan membuat sarapan besok. Seperti menawarkan diri untuk melakukan sesuatu ya di masa depan. Okay. And the last time we use will to make predictions. For example, she thinks it will rain soon. Yang di bahasa Indonesia kita tahu dengan uh, membuat prediksi. Contohnya, dia berpikir sebentar lagi akan turun hujan. Oke. Okay. Okay. Now let's learn the pattern of stating willingness and unwillingness. Let's take a look at the positive box. The positive box. The first pattern, subject plus will plus verb one plus blah 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 blah. Second pattern, subject plus good plus verb one plus blah 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 blah. The third pattern, subject plus is or am or are plus willing to plus for one plus blah 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 and the last pattern subject plus was or were plus willing to plus for one plus blah 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 the examples are first Rita will cook dinner second I would close the door third Joe is willing to buy a book fourth we were willing to clean our house. Next, let's see the negative box or how to stating unwillingness. The first pattern, she plus will plus not plus for one plus blah, 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 blah. Second pattern, she plus would plus not plus for one plus blah, 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 blah. The third pattern, subject plus is or am or are plus not plus willing to plus for one plus blah 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 and the last pattern subject plus was or were plus not plus willing to plus for one plus blah 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 the examples are Rita won't cook dinner one is uh, the short from the short form from will not we can read and write it as won't Second example, I wouldn't close the door or I would not close the door. The third example, Joe is not willing to buy a book. The last example is we were not willing to clean our house. Okay. How to asking someone's willingness? We use the pattern will or with plus subject plus verb one plus blah 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 and don't forget to give the question marks or tanda tanyanya jangan dilupakan okay for example will you come to my party yes i will or you can also answer no i won't because blah 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 something like that okay let's jump in into Dialogue. Okay. Here is the dialogue of stating capability and also willingness. Okay. Hi, Jen. Good morning. Hi, David. Good morning. Um, I'm hungry. Let's go to the canteen. Sure. What kind of food do you like? I like sweet and savory food. Can you eat spicy food? Yes, I can. But I don't want to eat spicy food for breakfast. How about you? I love spicy food. Uh, I will 
boy spicy fried rice. Yum yum. Wow, sounds good. Um, I will buy chicken noodle with extra meatballs. Okay, guys. So from the dialogue, we can see that David uses the expression of asking for capability in this part. Can you eat spicy food? And then Jen stating her capability or her ability by saying, Yes, I can. In that section. And then David and Jen also use the expression of willingness. David said, I will buy spicy fried rice. <laughs> I will buy spicy fried rice. I'm sorry for my mistake. And then Jean said, I will buy chicken noodles with extra meatballs. Okay. So from the dialogue, we can know that David and Jen practice using capability and willingness. Okay, so that's all for today class. The summary of today class. First, capability is something we can do. Sesuatu yang bisa kita lakukan. Second, willingness is something that we willingly to do. Willingness adalah sesuatu yang akan kita lakukan. And then the third Summary is we learn how to state ability, how to state inability, how to ask for capability, and then how to state willingness, how to state unwillingness, and also how to ask for willingness. Okay, it's practice time. Okay, so to check. Your understanding about today's material, I would like to ask all of you to do the practice one worksheet that I had provided in Google Classroom. So all of you have to do it individually and write down the right answer in your book. Later, after you finish, you can take a picture of it and send it to Google Classroom. Okay? Please do it before tomorrow. Yay! Thank you so much everyone for your enthusiastic. If you have any questions or confusion, feel free to chat me through my WhatsApp number here. Okay? Happy learning! See you later! See you tomorrow on our Google meeting time! Bye-bye!